Hey guys, I'm Ina and welcome to Casual Academy. Today, we're going to talk about how to create a face rate for your character in just four easy steps. You can follow these steps to make the face of your character come to life, even if you're a beginner. Now, there are a lot of ways you can rig a character, but I'm going to be using joysticks and sliders because I find it very easy to use and I'm used to it. And Joysticks and Sliders is a plugin for After Effects and they have a free trial. The link will be in the description if you want to download it. As always, you'll find our project files in the description. They're free to use and you don't need to pay to download them. If you like our content and our templates, you can subscribe to our newsletter. We add new templates every month. Now, let's get started. This is my illustrator file and this is my character. Since we're gonna be rigging the face only, I want to make sure every part of the face has its own layer. So as you can see here, we have glasses, we have hair. So all these elements, even the, even the small hair right here, needs to be on a separate layer. Eyebrows, eyes, left eye and the right eye, nose, mouth, cheeks, head, ears, and then neck. And just quickly, if you don't know how to make every part of the face uh, on a separate layer, here's an easy way to do so. Just click on the layer, click on this little arrow that you see over here to see all the layers, and then click on the hamburger menu and then click release to layers sequence. Okay, so now you have all the shapes that form the face. So all I'm gonna do is I'm gonna select the first layer I'm going to hold Ctrl and Shift and then click on the last layer. And then I'm just going to drag and drop these layers here. I will just start grouping the layers and then naming them. For example, this part over here is part of the glasses. Same thing here and then same thing here. So I'm just going to select all these two shapes. I'm going to drag and drop them to this shape. So I'm just going to double click on this layer and name that glasses. I can see that this is my hair. So double click on it and I'm going to name this hair. And I'm just going to follow the same process for, uh, for the other layers. And so on until you have all the shapes of the face having its own layer. So great, let's now import that into After Effects and then start breaking the face. So go to File, Import, File find your file and then it's very important to change this setting over here. It says import as and you have to click composition retain layer sizes. Otherwise it will appear as footage and we don't need that. Import. Okay, perfect. Here is our character. So the first thing that I'm gonna do just for the purpose of this tutorial is I'm going to group all the layers of the face and the neck Close the hair and I'm just going to pre-compose that because we won't be rigging the body, just the face. So here's our character and in this tutorial I'm going to show you how to rig a face with joysticks and sliders. You can download the free demo on AE Scripts. So just go to aescripts.com slash joysticks and sliders, click on try. When you download the file and unzip it, you're gonna see a PDF with instructions. Just follow the instructions to, uh, to install joysticks and sliders. Copy this folder right here and then paste it. If you're on Mac, you can do the exact same thing. And when you find your folder, make sure it's the adult folder. And now just copy this file and then paste it to this folder. When you do that, open your After Effects and go to Window and you see joysticks and sliders over here. And then you see your joysticks and sliders panel. Now that we have our character imported into After Effects and our joysticks and sliders installed, it's time to start rigging the face. The first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna part the layers. We want to part all the layers that are connected to the head, to be parented to the head. And then same with the ears and the hair. 
and then the head needs to be parented or connected to the neck. So that way, if we move our neck, everything moves with it. Great. To make things easier, let's hide some of these layers. For example, I'm going to hide the neck because we won't need it for now. I'm gonna keep the rest of the layers as they are. The first thing that you're gonna do is to select all the layers and press P on your keyboard to bring up the position. The key rule for making a great rig in joysticks and sliders is to create five poses on a separate frames. One will be our main pose, then we'll have to create the pose when she's looking to the right and then to the left and then up and down. So after that, we're gonna select all the keyframes and we're gonna create, create our joystick. So let's get started. We'll definitely need to animate the position of every layer. This is why I clicked P and uh, created keyframes for position. We might need to rotate the eyebrows. So I'm gonna select the eyebrows. I'm gonna click R on my keyboard, then click the stopwatch and press U so I can see all the keyframes. Now we have keyframes for the position and the rotation, which is great. However, I'm going to need to adjust the nose. When she looks to the right, it would look weird if the nose is pointing to this position. So I'm going to make the nose a shape layer. I'm gonna right click on the nose, then create, and then create shape layer from vector layer. Let's delete this layer over here because we won't really need it. Uh, let's expand this group, click on contents, group, path, and we are gonna be animating the path, so add a keyframe here. Press E on the keyboard to see all the keyframes that you have, and I think we are ready to start rigging. So, the first position is our main position. This is the main position of our character when she's looking straight at us. So now, let me zoom into my timeline and start creating the right pose. So that will be the pose when she's looking right. One very important thing that I need to mention here is that you need to be creating all the keyframes on different frames. So for example, if I make the right pose over here and then the left pose over here, it won't really work. All the keyframes need to be on a separate frame. So I'm gonna select all my layers by clicking on the first layer, holding Ctrl and Shift and click on the last layer. And I'm gonna click this icon that you see over here. What this does is it pastes my initial keyframes, so I can make sure every layer has keyframes. We basically duplicate the keyframes from the start. So that way it will be easier for me to make sure every layer has a keyframe for this pose. So the first thing that I'm gonna do is I'm gonna select the head, move it to the right like this. Don't worry, it looks a bit weird now, but we're gonna adjust it. Then I'm gonna select the hair I'm gonna move this one over here. And then I'm gonna select everything from the cheeks to the glasses. But I'm gonna exclude the hair by holding control and selecting the keyframes. Let me zoom in a little bit. And now let's move these over here. Okay, great. One thing that you notice over here is that this cheek goes out of the face, but we're gonna adjust this in a second. Let's first adjust the ears. So this ear needs to go to the left a little bit and this one again to the left. Okay, great. So now, as you can see, our nose is pointing to the other direction. So we'll need to adjust it. And that's why we created a path and we are gonna adjust the path right now. Just zoom in, click G or this icon over here and then select this dot. Let's move this around maybe like this keep adjusting until you're happy with the position of your nose and just so we have a, a, a parallax effect uh, which is pretty cool for uh, face turns you can move the nose a little bit to the right now let's select the glasses and do the same thing for glasses okay great so now remember that we added rotation keyframes for the eyebrows let's adjust them a little bit Maybe when she's looking right, we can rotate this eyebrow a bit and up, and then we can do the same thing with the other eyebrow and maybe rotate it a bit more. Okay, great. My eyebrows 
are below the hair. And I'm just going to move this over here. Great, looks better now. Okay, perfect. So the only thing that's bugging me right now is the cheek that goes out of the face here. So here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna find my head layer and click Control D to duplicate it. I'm gonna press U on my keyboard to see all the keyframes. And I'm gonna click on the stopwatch again so I can disable these keyframes. You'll see why in a second. The reason why I'm doing this is because I want to parent this layer to the head and I, I'm not gonna be creating keyframes for this layer because that would be our mask. This is the problematic cheek. Let me bring the new head layer that we created on top of it. Then here, we need to click on Alpha Mate. It creates a mask of the head. So basically, even if you move it all the way here, you won't be able to see it because we'll only see the part that's within the, uh, the face layer that we created. And so we can hide this layer over here. Actually, let me lock it and then hide it because we won't be needing this layer um, when we move forward. And I'm gonna do the exact same thing for the other cheek because I'm guessing we'll have the same problem now when we move our face to the left. Okay, great. So now that we have our main position, she's looking straight at us. Then we have the position when she's looking right. And now let's create a position when she's looking left. If you don't do what I showed you before and click on origin here, you need to basically adjust the keyframes and then uh, just follow the same, the same process. But I find it easier if I click on origin so it pastes all my keyframes, uh, all my main keyframes. So all the layers, click on origin, and now we have our main position again. But this time we'll need to make her look left. So select the head, move it to the left, great. And now let's select the hair, move this to the right. Remember the back hair needs to always be opposite to where the face is going. Now let's just the ears. So this one needs to go to the back. Let's move this one to the right, great. Let's select everything from the cheeks to the glasses and exclude the hair. Move it, oops, move it to the left. See the cheek here? It's good that we, we created a mask, so now it looks way better. Let's adjust the nose a bit. Click G or this icon over here. And you can adjust the position of the nose. Bring it to the left a bit more. I think the shape of the of the nose here is all right. I'm not gonna adjust it. Let me just move the glasses. Now let's find our eyebrows. Great. Let's rotate this one. Down. Rotate this one. Make it go up a bit. Now, let's adjust these little hairs over here. This one over here too. Okay. And actually, let me go back to this position to adjust the hairs again. Let's go back and see what we created. Main position, right position, looks pretty good. Left position. Actually, looking at it now, I think I need to adjust this position a bit. Let's see it again. Main position, right position, left position. Okay, great. So now we need to add keyframes and change her position again and make her look up. Let's do the same thing. Select all the layers. By the way, you can also click on Control and A to select all of them and click Origin. Great, we have our main position now. Let's find our head. Move it up. And the back hair needs to go down like this. So now it's like everything from the glasses to the cheeks, exclude the hair and move everything up. Okay, great. So here we'll need to make a few adjustments. 
the first thing is that we need to make the ears go down great the hair and the little hairs here can go down by the way you can also create a shape layer for the hair and play with it as you can see here i have a little a bit of cuts because of the ear but i'm not gonna be adjusting the hair uh, in this tutorial because i i, I just want to keep it simple let's continue and change the shape of the nose so since she's looking up we need to adjust the position of her nose a little bit actually i think it's good let's just just the eyebrows maybe eyebrows up and the glasses this great perfect and then finally we'll need to create the position when she's looking down select one layer select the control a and then click origin that'll be our main position perfect so now let's make her look down select the head move the head down select the hair move the hair up select everything from the cheeks do the glasses, exclude the hair, it go down, if she's looking down, great. So select the hair, it go down a little bit, let's adjust the hair split here. The nose, let's zoom in, think, 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 I'm clicking G on my keyboard to adjust the position, so since she's looking down, the nose needs to look something like this. Not that long. Okay. Let's move this here. Glasses. Let's go down. Maybe rotate them a bit. Think, think. Okay, great. I don't really like her nose now. It's too pointy. Let's adjust that a bit. Great. Perfect. Let's go back now. We have our main position, right position, left position, up position, down position. So before you create your joystick, make sure you have five different positions and they're all on a separate frame. And then after that, here's what we're gonna do. Select all the keyframes and then click on this icon over here to create the joystick. Let's name this face. Face. And now we have our joystick. Let's test the joystick. Think. Let me move this here. Okay, awesome. Let's see. Whoop. Whoop. Oh. Whoop. Whoop, whoop, whoop. Okay, the only thing that I'm noticing here is that the noise is too pointy when she's looking right. So if you want to adjust your rig, you don't have to start all over again. All you have to do is select all the layers and, and click on this icon here. Now let me find the right position. Here we go, click the nose. So when you're ready, select all the keyframes and click this icon here. That will automatically adjust your joystick. Perfect. And we have our face rake ready. Now, before we continue with the common mistakes, I'd like to take a second to thank everyone who has already subscribed to our channel. We are just starting out, so your support is greatly appreciated. And if this video is helpful, please take a second to like and subscribe to our channel. Drop a comment below and tell us what's the tool that you're using to rig a face. And since our face rig is ready, let's talk about the most common mistakes when you rig a face with joysticks and sliders. Some of our followers messaged us asking how to fix this error. And if you see this on screen, it means you didn't place the keyframes properly. Remember, the way joysticks and sliders works is it takes your extreme poses or the main poses and it gives you an option to move your joystick and create your cool face expressions but you need to make all your extreme poses on a different frame and they all need to have their own keyframes. So make sure you zoom in your timeline 
and add the keyframes accordingly. This is a very common mistake, but it is very easy to fix it. As you can see, when I move the joystick to the left, the head moves to the right. The issue here is that your second frame should always be the right face position instead of the left position. So next time you create your rig, always start with the main pose, then the right pose, the left pose, the up and down poses. That way, your face rig would be perfect. Now let's look at this example. As you can see, one of the eyebrows is not rotating while the other one is. So if we look back to our keyframes, we'll notice that we added one rotation keyframe at the start, but we didn't add more. So remember, even if your objects are not changing their positions in every shot, you need to add keyframes so joysticks and sliders would know you'd like to move this part of the face. So go ahead, download our project files and create your own face rig. Thank you very much for your time and see you next week.